welcome to the final lab that is lab 8 of day 2 so till now what we have done you know we started you know right from lab 1 to lab 7 we saw that how we can go and display simple text on console application by using the console dot write line we saw we saw that how we can take inputs from the console application by using console dot read line we also saw if conditions you know by which we can go and do comparison and we can do conditional uh, checking of uh, of values we also saw the for loop condition and the commenting now what we'll do is by using all these things you know let's go ahead and create a very simple calculator application wherein the end user can go in and put numbers and uh, put two numbers like number one and number two and then go in and put in the operation saying he wants to do addition or subtraction and then up, you know, depending on what kind of operation he has entered we should display him the value so let me quickly go here and create a, a very simple console application here and I'll call this console application as calculator so there's my console application and let me go and give a nice name here calculator and let me press ok so let me go and uh, display a very nice message message here first you know so that people will feel good about a calculator saying simple calculator right simple things are not so simple but let's try to make this nice looking so the as soon as he logs in you know he will see this nice matches message here saying simple calculator something like this right good now after that uh, let's go and first display saying enter your first number so we'll say enter your first number right after that we'll say console dot right line uh, oh, okay once you enter once we display the entry of first number we need to take the first number so we'll declare a variable here saying int num1 and we'll go and take that number uh, inside this variable so we'll say console dot read line here right in the same way I'll just copy paste this and I'll also take the second number so I'll just create a variable here called as num2 and I'll say enter your second number we would also like to go and enter operations like plus minus something he has to enter so I'm going to do a control C and a control V here and I'll say enter your operations so in other words do you want to do addition do you want to do subtraction what exactly you want to do right so I'm going to say a string operations or I'll say OPT right here we do not need the conversion because the left hand side is a string so we can just it as it is right right so first we take the first number second number and operations now depending on the operations you know we would like to go and uh, you know do addition or multiplication or something so here now we have to write a if condition which will check you know if it is plus then do addition if it is uh, basically minus you know then do a subtraction etc right so I'll say here if now what I'll do is let me again go and uh, create a variable here called as result you know where we will go and and uh, uh, what you call uh, take the results in so we'll say int result equal to zero okay so I'll say if um, opt is equal to plus right then do something else if opt is equal to minus do something just call this here again else if opt is equal to multiplication do something this division do something so depending on you know if he has entered plus or minus or star or something you know a multiplication or division will accordingly go and uh, do the operations so if it is addition we'll say result is equal to num1 plus num2 in the same way if it is subtraction we'll just go and subtract the first number from the second number if it is multiplication we'll do this and if it's division again we will 
do this and finally we will display the results here so we'll say console dot right line the result is okay I'll just put some nice star here again uh, just to make it good result is result we'll concatenate the value of result with the text here right so you know we first took the first number input the second number input the operations and depending on the operations you know we are actually going and adding subtracting multiplying or divide right dividing and then finally we are displaying the result uh, at the end of the application so now let me just do a control f5 here so you can see our calculator program running so i'll say my first number is 100 my second number is 100 and i want to do a plus the result is 200 good so let me just test my application so if I say my first number is 100 second number is let's say 100 and if I say it is subtraction it is 0 that is right so you can see that how we have created a very simple calculator by using simple console dot write line read line and by using the if condition so I hope that you know you enjoyed this lab now from the next lab onwards we are going to go a bit higher we are going to go a bit serious on programming we're going to go and create windows applications right in other words if you see now the user interface you know this black user interface is not really how today's applications are developed right we would like to go and create nice buttons nice user interfaces nice text boxes so how do we do that so from the next lab onwards we are going to go and jump straight into windows application and we'll see that how we can use uh, the windows application to develop uh, real-time uh, applications of applications for business